All right, guys. Next video here in our Google Classroom Basics series, and we are going to look at how to archive assignments today, how to archive them, um, you know, mark them as old assignments and get them out of the way and clean up our classwork stream. Because okay, so archiving an assignment is not really like a feature or function that's built into Google Classroom. It's just a little tip, a little idea uh, that you can perform yourself to keep your Google Classroom stream organized and cleaned up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our classwork stream and we are going to go to create and we're going to create a topic and we're going to call it archive. So we're going to create a topic called archive. We're going to add that. And now we've got this down here in our classwork. So we can take old assignments that we're no longer using. You know, maybe everyone's turned it in now. I know I don't have any kids working on it late or anything. And I want to get it out of my classroom stream just to clean things up and have less stuff there so that it's not too overwhelming, especially for younger students to help them focus on the assignments that they really need to have access to. I'm going to grab that assignment and I'm just going to drag it down into archive. So now it's going to show up down there under the archive um, label, archive topic, and students will know that, you know, it's not something they necessarily have to worry about. Of course, another option you could do would be to actually delete the assignment itself. You could click on the three dots next to the assignment and you can delete it. Um, also, you can, of course, go to edit and we can change the topic to archive on any of your assignments that way as well. Of course, I don't ever recommend deleting it because what if it comes back up? You need to prove somebody did or didn't do something. That's why I say make an archive topic and just stash your old things down there. Oh, hey, before you go, pause here so you can go look these things up and like and subscribe them. EdTech Mr. Brown, Twitter's EdTech Mr. Brown, YouTube EdTech Mr. Brown, Facebook. Thank you.